Hello, welcome to another stock list. This is uh, part two of my uh, stock list. And first up we have uh, the Hornby Plus 73. This is the green one, obviously. Um, E6003. Bought this one new at uh, Tags Model Shop in Doncaster. Um, what can I say about it? It's the old Lima uh, body, if you like, with uh, an upgraded um, chassis, of course, that uh, Hornby did. Uh, got uh, about three of the uh, Lima versions. Uh, I must say, uh, the Hornby version is a pretty good runner, I must admit, but uh, I do like the old lean ones. It's just a shame that you can't sort of uh, buy the new Hornby chassis uh, pretty uh, cheap and then uh, put them underneath the uh, the uh, you know the old Lima bodies and stuff. Next up, this is a bit of a hybrid actually. Um, it's the Triang Class Thirty One body. Uh, married up to a Lima 31 chassis. Basically what happened, I had uh, I bought a job lot of stuff and I had this old uh, Triang 31 uh, with no motor and I saw uh, cheaply on eBay a, a Lima class 31 chassis so I thought I wonder if I can kind of combine the two which is basically what I've done here. Um, doesn't look too bad actually, it, it turned out better than what I thought. Uh, but anyway, so yeah we have a hybrid of a Triang body uh, married up to uh, a Lima 31 chassis and uh, yeah, one's, one's sort of pretty average as, as sort of Lima stuff does. Next up another one of my uh, swap meet purchases um, Lima class 37 it's uh, 37 um, 430 intercity livery uh, one, of, one of my swap meet purchases from the Elsica it was the old Elsica swap meets that used to have at the Heritage Centre they've moved them now to the um, village hall but uh, these have them in the old um, heritage centre there in the big um, exhibition room they had. Um, and as I say, one of my uh, purchases uh, from there. Sort of, a lot of my stuff that isn't bought new off eBay has come from uh, swap meets and things. Um, first of four Deltics that I own. Uh, this one is, of course, the Lima one. And green livery, 9003 meld. Bought off eBay. I think I paid about 12 quid, I think, it, to the uh, the final bid was anyway. I know it was, uh, it was uh, pretty cheap, but... Uh, standard Lima motor. Now I, I don't understand why Lima didn't use the same gearing that they used in the Class 50 because obviously the Class 50s uh, run much smoother uh, than the uh, than the Deltics do. I've actually been trying to look for some Class 50 uh, motors that I can maybe sort of swap over because everything else is the same on them. It's just the gearing's different, but the Class 50 uh, gearing seems to be a lot uh, a lot more uh, uh, smoother. I've always wanted to say that, and I'll. Um, Part two of our uh, loco roster. Class 47, it's 47712 Lady Diana Spencer. Bought this for a tenner at a car boot sale uh, in South Sea at Portsmouth oh, many, many years ago now. But uh, I bought this and also an old Juef overhead electric one as well, which will feature uh, a lot later on in our stock list. But anyway, paid a tenner for it. Normal sort of standard Hornby three pole motor. I'm toying with the idea of trying to pick up a five pole motor for it, but I don't know yet. I really don't know. But uh, but yeah, so that's uh, the last of our um, stock list, part two. Uh, of course, we'll do another one in about a week's time. But as I say, thank you very much uh, for watching. If you want to subscribe or anything, feel free to do so. Mm -hmm.